Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. I just put up a small video, uh, a make do at the cabin video. When we go up north, I try to make some videos showing you how I do things with limited stuff. And uh, since we're on the bread topic right now, um, I did not have sourdough starter there. I'll show you my sourdough. I had a very beautiful sourdough that was almost 10 years old. And then one time I, uh, Erica and I decided to go camping. We were so excited we were going camping that I forgot to take my sourdough and put it in the refrigerator. So by the time we got back, which was weeks later, because then we went to the cabin, um, it pretty much uh, got destroyed. So I had to start a new one, and I only started not long ago. Uh, this is what, I think my eighth day in the city, and my sourdough is just blooming. It is so beautiful. I wanna show you. I just fed it this morning, and that's where, once I fed it, that's where it reached, and it's already up to here. By tomorrow morning, this is gonna be spilling out, so I gotta find a bigger jar to put this in. Now, sourdough is one of the best breads you can make. Not only is it pre-digested for you, but there's a lot of other benefits that's such as the fermentation of the yeast, so it's good for your gut. There's so many benefits to sourdough. It's pretty much pre-digested, so it's easier for you to have sourdough. And I noticed that people that are um, gluten intolerant could do a sourdough without having anything, uh, any problems with their gut. So I, I'm not telling you if you're gluten intolerant, go out and buy sourdough or make sourdough. I'm just saying it's up to you if you wanna try it. I know that some people don't have problems eating sourdough. It's not as hard on their body. So now I'm gonna have to find a bigger jar because this little girl is like busting and it's only a few hours that I fed it really, uh, well maybe more than a couple of hours, but still, um, I will only be refeeding this tomorrow morning, so by then, it's already at the top. This is gonna like bust out of the container like what I saw this morning when I woke up. It was spilling, as you can tell, I cleaned it, but it was spilling out of the container. It popped the lid and it was going everywhere, so. But what I did do is start making some dough for pizza. And because I have my beautiful niece Allie with us, we're gonna make a lot of pizza. And then Erica and I are probably heading back up north to make some more videos, outdoor videos for our other channel that Erica and I have called The Woods Beyond. So if you haven't gone there, maybe you could come visit us there. We're trying to make, um, make those videos as pleasant to the eye, uh, make it, relaxing you know a lot of people could use some of those when they're stressed out so we're trying to make these videos nice and calming for you and we're learning as we're doing this so if you want to come over and support us there it's called the woods beyond i would really appreciate it if not that's okay too there's no forcing here uh so i want to show you my dough this morning i started my dough in this container and it started to spill out, so I had to take some of that dough and put it in this container. <laughs> and as you can tell, they're both nice and alive. So I am gonna quickly fold this in, which is gonna bring it down a bit, but it's also gonna help my dough do its magic. Okay, normally I do it like three times and there's times where I have to do it more times to make a rise because like for now it's only 2.24 and we're not gonna cook this until later on this evening. So I will keep folding this into itself. And there we go. Just fold it into itself and let it rise again, which just does such wonderful things. Now, normally when I do sourdough, I do not add any yeast whatsoever. 
but because we are making this for tonight I wanted to speed it up I did put a little sprinkle of yeast in my mixture but when you're when you've got the sourdough that's bubbling like the one I just showed you you really don't need uh, any yeast whatsoever because whatever's happening with the sourdough is going to do its magic but I wasn't sure if I was gonna get a good rise because it is a new sourdough I wasn't sure if I was gonna get a good rise as quick as I needed it so I decided just a sprinkle of some uh, some yeast will activate it now by doing that and eating my dough right away it's not as good as when you make sourdough and then you let it stay overnight and come tomorrow you're able to uh, make your bread again that sourdough is going to eat all the sugars and it's going to do its magic and really you're going to get a much healthier bread than or pizza dough in this case than if you do it by rushing it by adding some yeast to it but you know what sometimes you got to do what you got to do if you want to have what you want the same day so i'm going to keep punching it down or folding it into itself until it's time to put it down on my pizza trays but i just wanted to show you how beautiful now this one here is basically the same recipe like the other one just a little extra flour a little extra water i really don't have any recipes i pretty much just eyeball it and i was trying to show you in that video how we start off with two cups of flour i did add oats at the country because we didn't have a lot of flour left up there so i added some oats and i figured that was gonna bulk up the bread but which it did uh but what i'm doing here is no oats whatsoever no flax seeds in this recipe because it's going to be a, a, a pizza but what i did do is i added a little bit of maseca flour and i'm going to show you next time when i start the dough from scratch to show you how easy it is and that maseca flour makes one of the most delicious you've got a little bit of corn but not really like a cornmeal taste it just has that kind of little almost like Mexican flair to it it is so good and what it does it elevates this bread or pizza dough to the next level so I did add maseca flour but like I said not much I think I added about half a cup of it and it really changes the texture of the dough it just does something incredible but like I said I'm going to show you that when I make a bread for you from scratch showing you how I use my sourdough and that's going to be later on in the future because right now like I said this is going to be just pizza dough for us and then we're pretty much off back up north and we're going to be uh, doing some outdoor videos there so I just wanted to show you little tips um, about our sourdough and because it is so active now this is a one liter jar uh, normally it's good you know you got to take you see where the elastic is normally uh, it'll rise a little in the beginning so you take half of that make something with it you could throw it out but you know I hate to throw out anything and then you feed it and you do this for at least seven to eight days it might take even longer depends your house depends how cold it is in your house depends how much active yeast there is in your house so I will do a whole video for you on sourdough and I really do not measure a thing people say you got to put so much flour and so much water I don't measure and my as you could tell my sourdough looks crazy right now I have to actually change the jar otherwise come tomorrow morning it's gonna just spill out and I'm gonna lose all that sourdough but I will show you how to start a sourdough how you could even share a sourdough if you have one that's as active as this and you don't feel like making any bread and if you have a friend who wants some sourdough you could give them some sourdough feed it put it in a jar for them and hand it over to them and let them do the babysitting once you hand it over to them but 
I'll show you all of this in my next video. I just wanted to give you some little tips on um, what I've been doing with breads and how I started uh, a new sourdough. And hopefully this is going to go on for years and years. Now I have two daughters and they both asked if they can have some. So um, when my daughter Amanda comes over to bring me the girls, because we're ta also taking them up north, um, I'm going to give her half of my jar and then I'll feed hers and mine. And mine's going to go into the refrigerator because I'm going to be gone. Or I could even bring it up. I might bring it up in the cabin, uh, bring it up to the cabin. Um, so I might even show you a recipe up there again on how I make the dough that you see here, my pizza dough, which is also a bread dough. There really is no difference. The only thing is if you're making a pagacha, you want a little softer dough. But otherwise, the same dough, I make bread, I make pizza, I add things to it, I remove things to it. It really isn't hard to make a delicious bread for your family. And the ingredients is what you put in it. There is no extra. Have you looked at a toast bread? Uh, the amount of ingredients in there, it's scary. Some of them I don't even, I can't even pronounce it. So, you know, making your own bread, there's a plus. Some people have little machines. You can start making bread in your little machine and you'll see a big difference. And then there's some people who have to do from scratch like I do. Really not hard. You do need a little Dutch oven. I have one that is so ugly. When I tell you it's ugly, I've been using it now for, oh my God, it's about... 40 years that I've been using it. I'm going to show you how ugly my Dutch oven is. Anyhow, let me put this aside because it's just like popping here. I got to let it stop breathing a bit. This is a small Dutch oven that I was telling you uh, in my Make Do at the Cabin video. I think I wrote it down for you. It's really ugly. But what I do is I line it with parchment or I put my dough on parchment and then I drop it in here. I cover it and I just cook it with the cover on. I don't remove the cover like some people say. I cook it right in my Dutch oven and it comes out golden and beautiful. I'm going to stick a picture up for you to see some of the breads I make. But really easy. These you could get... A small one like this now don't ask me how many <laughs> quarts it is because I can't remember but this is very small compared to I have a huge one in my closet but I have bigger ones like this one as you could tell this makes a bigger loaf right so instead of the recipe I showed you instead of making two loaves I would put it in this and I would make just one big loaf of bread. And when I tell you it comes all the way up to here, beautiful dome, really, really nice. Now I keep paper like this in my cast iron because after I wash it, I don't want any moisture left in there. So I do cover my cast irons with paper, so no moisture. But that little one is as ugly as ugly can get. But it's been making me bread for 40 years. And I really don't care what it looks like because basically it's stained ceramic and cast iron. It's not going to kill me. I line it with parchment and my bread comes out beautiful. Okay, so the loaf that I did show you in the recipe I just put up made me toast bread. About maybe three and a half, four inches high. That was put into a loaf pan and that was for breakfast and then I took the other dough and I put it in a, pan, a cast iron pan. I didn't have a lid so it kind of spread out a bit rather than staying in the shape of my Dutch oven and then come up. But it's good. It doesn't matter if it's flat or if it's high. The whole point is how good is your bread and let me tell you the recipe I showed you makes a delicious delicious bread and the one that I will be showing you makes a delicious delicious bread so my next video to you will be 
showing you how to start a sourdough and how to take care of it and then we're gonna make a recipe like this one delicious so I'm gonna say I love you again guys and don't forget if you want to see what we do outdoors come over to the woods beyond and subscribe and you'll get to see some fun stuff that we're doing outdoors uh, hopefully our videos are going to be nicer because we're trying to make it more aesthetic and more pleasing to the eyes and the ears. So I'm going to say I love you. Thank you for all the support you guys have been giving me. And I'll see you soon.